Hi, and welcome to Sentry. Here at Sentry, we monitor application code health. From error tracking to performance monitoring, developers can see clearer, solve quicker, and learn continuously about their applications from the front end to the back end. We provide code level observability to many of the world's best known companies like Disney, Peloton, Cloudflare, and Eventbrite. Each month, we process billions of events from the world's most popular products. Getting started is super simple. Once you've created a Sentry organization, just head over to Create Project. Here, you can pick from dozens of frameworks you'd like to start monitoring. Decide if you want alerts, assign a name and a team, then copy the resulting initialization method into your code, and you're done. Once you've added the initialization method into your app, Sentry will start automatically sending errors and performance events. Most applications send a large number of events, so to make them more actionable, we group similar events into issues based on best-in-class fingerprinting. Issues help to reduce noise and focus you on your most important problems. The Issues page allows you to quickly see your issue and filter by properties like browser, device, impacted users, or whether an error is unhandled. You can then inspect the issue's details to better understand the problem and triage effectively. You can easily jump to an issue within a specific project and environment simply by selecting the appropriate dropdowns. The resulting issue details page shows either details about an error or performance issue. The main area of the page displays information about the latest event that's part of an issue. We summarize the issue statistics, like how many times it's occurred in the last 24 hours or the last 30 days, as well as the last time and first time the issue is seen. If Sentry is instrumented in both the front end and back end, the trace navigator allows you to see the distributed trace between the two and any correlated errors. Using our GitHub integration, Sentry surfaces the suspect commit that caused the issue. Sentry provides tags to provide additional context. Tags are usable across Sentry and can be extraordinarily helpful when setting up queries, dashboards, and tailored alerts. The stack trace shows you the specific line of code that the event errored along with the ability to link to that same line of code within GitHub. If you have Sentry CodeCov enabled, you can also see line-by-line -line test coverage. For web projects, Session Replay shows you a video-like reproduction of your user sessions, so you can see what happened before, during, and after an error or performance issue occurred. Breadcrumbs provide a history and a timeline leading up to an error event and are totally customizable. And finally, Sentry enables seamless continuation of a developer workflow via automated issue assignment in addition to our many third-party integrations like being able to submit GitHub issues or JIRA tickets. You can get notified of new or persistent issues by setting up alerts. Alerts provide a tailorable, real-time method to send your developers an email, Slack post, or Teams message when specific errors or performance problems arise in your apps. These can also be sent to downstream systems via webhook. In addition to summarizing performance events into issues, Sentry also tracks broad application performance measuring dozens of metrics like throughput and latency for web, mobile, and backend apps. This quickly lets you see if your application's performance is improving, if your latest release is running more slowly, or triage underperforming services. The Trends view surfaces transactions that have had significant changes in their performance over time. When you find a transaction of interest, you can investigate further by going to its transaction summary page. With this view, you'll find graphs, instances of these events, stats, facet maps, related errors, and more. Using the tags breakdown, you can see a visual heat map of any custom tags you've attached to events. The transaction table displays individual occurrences of the transaction along with relevant details. Click on the event ID to open the event detail where you can review the span waterfall and associated metrics that comprise the transaction. Finally, we try to identify suspect spans and tags that correspond to where most of the time in a transaction is spent we provide all of this to try to help you find areas where you can improve your application's performance. Let's wrap this up by talking about three ways to visualize Sentry data. The first is the releases page, which provides a visualization of your release where you can easily identify new issues and regressions, determine whether an issue was resolved, and monitor the health and adoption rate of your newly deployed app. The release details page focuses on an individual release. Elements of the release are displayed, such as visualized trends for crashes and sessions, specifics regarding each issue, adoption graphs, and commit author breakdowns. 
Second, Sentry's Discover tool provides visibility to your atomic data across environments. You can query and unlock insights into the health of your entire system and get answers to critical business questions all in one place. The Discover Query Builder allows you to create and save custom queries and aggregations to answer specific questions about error context or custom performance metrics. Here you can also summarize and tabulate data associated with custom tags. Finally, Sentry dashboards provide you with a customizable overview of your application's health by allowing you to navigate through error and performance data across multiple projects. Dashboards are made up of one or more widgets, which you can create in the dashboard view or discover. All widgets in the same view reflect the project, environment, and date range noted in the toolbar. You can also zoom in on any time series visualizations you may want to investigate. And all the widgets reflect the time period that you've zoomed in on. Hopefully you enjoyed that brief Sentry overview. We'd encourage you to set up a project, initialize Sentry in your app, and start getting the benefits of actionable code level observability today. Please don't hesitate to reach out to your Sentry team with any questions, and we hope you have a great one. Thanks for listening.